The Telegram channel Gostri Kartuzi published a video showing the liquidation of a North Korean soldier in the near rear zone of Russian troops at a distance of about 5 kilometers from the front near Selidovo. Experts, having analyzed the face of the deceased in detail, determined that he was a representative of Korean nationality. Military expert Alexander Kovalenko explained that the physiognomic features of North Koreans formed against the background of chronic malnutrition and vitamin deficiency indicate that the liquidated fighter came from North Korea. The video also shows that the deceased was carrying a large load, the volume of which is comparable to his build. This suggests that the Russians may be using North Koreans as labor to transport ammunition and provisions to the front lines. As Kovalenko notes, such a practice is common among Russian troops since the use of equipment in the frontline zone is difficult due to the systematic destruction of vehicles by Ukrainian drones. Thus, the delivery of goods is carried out by foot porters who carry supplies on their backs. The expert added that the use of North Koreans as labor in the war zone raises questions and suggested waiting for official confirmation before drawing final conclusions. Putin's forces are believed to be losing hundreds of troops a day, with Ukrainian estimates going as high as 1,200 to 1,500, so the more than 10,000 troops South Korea believes are in Russia. In the big picture, even 12,000 soldiers don't affect the general situation of the war significantly, says Emil Kastelmi, who runs the Blackbird Group, which tracks the war in Ukraine. The troops are already under fire, being shelled in the Russian border region of Kursk, according to Kyiv. This is the area where Ukrainian troops have held territory, having started a daring raid in August. Questions have been raised about the caliber of the North Korean troops, not least because none of the group, which includes 500 officers and three generals, have any combat experience. North Korea's isolation on the international stage means that its troops, which number more than a million, have faced nothing but training. None would think they are going to Russia to die. Choi Jung-hoon, a former first lieutenant in North Korea's army, told the Associated Press, but I think they're cannon fodder because they will be sent to the most dangerous sites and will surely be killed. Iran's foreign ministry spokesman denied his country's involvement in an assassination plan targeting Donald Trump. The U.S. Justice Department on Friday disclosed an Iranian murder-for-hire plot to kill Trump, charging a man who said he had been tasked by a government official before this week's election with planning the assassination of the Republican president-elect. Investigators were told of the plan to kill Trump by Farhad Shakari, an accused Iranian government asset who spent time in American prisons for robbery and who authorities say maintains a network of criminal associates enlisted by Tehran for surveillance and murder-for-hire plots. We have openly rejected any involvement in such matters and consider the accusations completely baseless, said Esmail Bagiai during a regular briefing. Bagiai said the accusation was another mine planted under the already complex relations between Iran and the U.S. The region and the Muslim world and all countries are closely watching the current and next U.S. government's behavior and the international community wants an end to genocide, crimes and aggression in Palestine and Lebanon and escalation in West Asia, Shakari also said during the briefing. هم از لحاظ زمانی و هم از لحاظ موضوعی طرح این ادعا این اتهام کاملا مشکوک و به نظر من شرورانه است چیزی که من ازش اسم بردم عرض کردم نوعی مینگذاری در یا یکی دیگر از مینهایی است که در روابط بسیار پیچیده ای ایران و آمریکا میشه ازش تلقی کرد ما صراحتا هر گونه دخالت در چنین مواردی رو رد کردیم کاملا بی اساس میدونیم اون خبری که ما داریم این هست که یک تبعی ایرانی 
ما از اخبار دیدیم که یک تبع ایرانی دستگیر شده تبع ایرانی بوده این که باز عرض می کنم تابعیت جای دیگری داشته باشه دست کم بنده اطلاعی ندارم ما با نهادهای زیرب در ارتباط هستیم برای اینکه ببینیم که وضعیت به چه شکل بوده امیدواریم که در فرصت باقی مانده دولت آمریکا ممانعت بکنه از تشدید جنگ افروزی و ادامه جنایات در قضه و لبنان و البته نکته دیگه ای که مهم هست این هست که دولت مردان آتی آمریکا از این وضعیت درس بگیرند و پایبند باشند به اون ادعاها یا وعده هایی که در جهان کارزار انتخاباتی دادند مهم این است که منطقه جهان اسلام همه کشورهای جهان با دقت رفتار و عملکرد دولت آمریکا چه دولت قبل و چه دولت آتی رو رصد میکنن و اون چیزی که انتظار جامعه بین المللی هست این است که از ادامه نسل کشی و جنایت و تجاوز در فلسطین و لبنان و تشدید ناامنی در منطقه غرب آسیا جلوگیری بشه. خوش آمدید ما از ابتدا اعلام کردیم بخشی از منازعه اوکراین نیستیم. اصرار داریم بر این که گفتگو که اختلافات از طریق صلح‌آمیز و گفتگو حل بشه. کماکان پایبند هستیم به این دیدگاه و متاسفیم واقعا که بعضی از مقام های اوکراین بر ادعاهای ضد ایرانی خودشون اصرار میبرزن An Iranian maid Shahid drone belonging to the Russian army crashed into a residential building in Belgorod region on November 5th. Images of the drone hitting the building and the moment of the explosion were spread on Telegram channels. It should be noted that there was a massive drone attack on the territory of Ukraine on November 5th. Following the attack, one of the drones returned to Russian territory. The Ukrainian side reported that it was the same drone that crashed into the residential building. One person was injured as a result of the incident.